What we did to start with was go and set up the Air Operations Centre here at Christchurch Air Movements Terminal at Harewood and from there we've just been looking to try and coordinate the NZDF's response in conjunction with um, civil defence. Um, lately we've just got a Boeing that's taking off out there after moving more people out of Christchurch and they also brought in um, the large USAR teams and a lot of search and rescue equipment from Auckland. Um, over the next five days we've put ourselves in a position that we can basically run the C-130s uh, constantly for 24 hour operations. Um, we have crews in place to go and enable that and with the Boeings that we've got here at the moment we can basically run two Boeings and two aircraft there. Uh, helicopters will be running, also has the ability to run 24 hour shifts, so essentially we're fully prepared to go and answer anything that Civil Defence wants from us in that regard. Uh, on Wednesday we had about uh, 1, 1,100 people come through uh, the terminal and we helped uh, evacuate those people. And on uh, Thursday we had uh, 358 people go out but the majority of the freight um, and the big stuff uh, started coming in. In terms of the military flights, it seems to be starting to be less in the way of personnel movements and more logistics coming in. Um, so yeah, we're just help, again helping out where we can. We're here until such time as we're told to go home again. Um, so we're, we're anticipating being here for the long. Um, however, our priorities will, will dictate from